what's going on everyone so today is going to be a short video um as you can see the spy crossed down below 438 and it also crossed down below this blue trend line that we've been monitoring as well uh the next level of support on the spy is going to be approximately 435.72 and you know we've been anticipating something like this could happen because we are crossing down below now on the macd so if this downward move does continue and this level of support does break then we can easily see a retest of let me go ahead and fix this now since we made new all-time highs we can easily see a retest of the 23.6 percent fib level at 435.40 which is approximately the same level that i was just talking about <clears throat> then if that level breaks then we're going to go back and retest this uh blue trend line that you know which was the big one that we were monitoring and the break of that you know break of this trend line here the blue one right here um we retested it multiple times then you know it freaking it basically uh signaled the huge upward move right um and that could happen and that would put us approximately to 432 433 area so those are really the levels that we need to continue watching on the spy overall this is a you know this does look like a bull flag which is a bullish pattern and a bit of a retest is completely normal um for a continued upward move all right so nothing to be super alarmed about just yet uh the nasdaq again this is also a very clean looking bull flag um uh, you know if it continues breaking down below uh very key support here at 361.50 that we were talking about as well <clears throat> so if 361.50 breaks and then if 360 breaks then we can retest this 23.6 percent fib level at 356.50 uh very similar to the spy right uh a retest of the 23.6 percent fib is completely normal but um that would be a much more drastic move for the nasdaq because then it would basically invalidate this bull flag that's being formed here all right so that's just something that we have to continue monitoring um aside from that you can see that you know the nasdaq <clears throat> did cross below um on the macd already it's you know it's more oversold than the spy is yet it opened high today and it's still technically closed green <laughs> compared to where it was on Friday. So that's um that's the interesting part about all of this. But yeah, we just have to monitor that level of support. Um now we can go ahead and check out the IWM. So this trend line is very, very important. We can see how ridiculous looking the MACD is. So a downward move especially when it failed at resistance here at what is this 224 so we failed at 224 very clearly three times right and then we failed to hold above 220 80 sorry failed to hold above 220 80 right here so the most natural place to go back and retest support is going to be this trend line here that i had drawn out um before and then if this trend line essentially at like 219 breaks then we're going to come back and retest the 217, 218 level. And that is completely possible because you can see the MACD is extremely overbought still. And it still needs to cross down below, potentially very similar to what the SPY and the NASDAQ are doing. Okay. Um, now we can go ahead and check out the bonds. <clears throat> so the 30 year yield had a very strong move today. Um, very big and green candle here. Uh, still a bull flag so overall very bullish for the nasdaq it crossed above on the macd which is also very bullish so overall the 30-year yield is very bullish um you can look at the dollar the dollar had a you know it's at a level of support and if this breaks then we can come back and retest this 91.6 level but overall the dollar is basically at support and very oversold which signals a potential reversal um to the upside and as you know that when the 30-year yield and the dollar are both bullish then um the nasdaq is bullish but if the 30-year yield uh, but if the 10-year yield and the dollar are bullish then the iwm is bullish 
Okay, so now I guess we can go ahead and check out the 10 year yield. So, as you can see, the 10 year yield is, you know, it had a very red day today. Um, obviously, because, you know, similarly to the IWM, very red day, right? So now, you know, we need to see if we just continue falling. Overall, the 10 year is, you know, it's um, oversold on the MACD, but this RSI is not this isn't a very good sign because we're basically flat here on the iw uh, on the um rsi but we moved very very drastically to the downside so that means that we can still potentially fall much lower and that would potentially be very bad for the iwm which would put us back at around 217 218 area um <clears throat> Yeah, so crude oil, it's holding the 38.2% FIB at 71. And we just need to see if that level holds. Overall, it looks like it can go down lower only because the MACD looks like it's crossing down below. And it's still overbought. All right. <clears throat> and of course, Bitcoin. Uh, like I was saying, um, once Bitcoin you know, got up here, I was saying since we were extremely overbought on Bitcoin, this would be a very good opportunity for Bitcoin to come back to support. Hon Yo, bro, honestly, this <laughs> trading, what a blessing. Hon anyway, um, so, you know, I said that it would, it, this would be a great opportunity to just stagnate a bit on Bitcoin because we had a huge, drastic, you know, very, very ferocious move on Bitcoin, yet we, um, you know, we needed to come back to support. Basically, I was saying that we needed to come back to support, and while we would come back to support and you know stay above support this would give time for the macd to cool off um because we're extremely overbought it would give time for the rsi to cool off because we're extremely overbought and that's exactly what happened oh sorry also i said that while this would be going on i said that ethereum all of the money would go into ethereum and ethereum would start trading above 2400 and uh that's basically exactly what happened so yeah, man. I mean, this is it just it doesn't get any more cleaner than this. Um, <laughs> Bitcoin or sorry, Ethereum crossed above 24. Now it's trading at 26. All at the same exact time, Bitcoin is coming back down to this level of support and this very, very important trend line that we've been monitoring. This, I'm telling you, like, this is no joke. Like, I don't see many people. I don't I don't think I've ever seen anyone really talk about the things that I'm really talking about, especially like people that make YouTube videos and stuff. But I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm sure like everyone is great and everyone is doing amazing and stuff. But yeah, man, this is it just works out really well sometimes. But um yeah, so there's my analysis on the overall market. Start rambling a bit. I'm very tired. Um I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Have a great day.